Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, and we're going to talk about Simple. Yeah, we're definitely going to we're going to talk about Simple, and we're going to talk about um, Index Card RPGs Hard Suit and its zero up concept and how it can be used in Dungeons and Dragons. All right, so Index Card RPG just uh, released a brand new, brilliant, brilliant game called Hard Suit. It's it, I, it's actually a world for Index Card RPG. So they 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 produced a setting book for Index Card RPG. Exactly like so Hard Suit is exact Hard Suit is to Index Card RPG Master Edition what um uh what specifically um Eberron is to the PHB DMG Monster Manual 5th edition, right? All right. So what is Hard Suit? So Hard Suit is what if your player characters woke up in Faerun, right, or a world like Faerun, right, woke up, you know, uh, 10 miles deep into the Neverwinter Woods, and around them were five mechs, right, and they had, they're just in a flight suit, and there's a mech, uh, a bio, uh, you know, a, a biologically linked mech close to them, and, you know, uh, what if there was, you know, a biologically linked mech close to them, right? It's, it's really fascinating. It's it's a it's actually a brilliant concept, and then it goes from there. And you and and essentially, you have, you know, twenty, you know, uh, the the mechs can be anywhere from like eight to twenty feet tall, and the game gives you tons of ways to provision them and make them unique. But you can put the Voltron theme on them, you know, like you can say, you could do essentially like a Power Rangers where they're all color coded. Uh, or they're a theme, like they're each one's a wolf, or each one's you know. At, it doesn't give any rules for for combining mechs. That's not in this, okay? Um, but essentially, it's it's power armor in Dungeons and Dragons, right? Absolutely brilliant. But it has this brilliant, brilliant concept in the middle of it, which is, hey, what? Um, basically, your characters start at zero. Now, what is the what is the advantage of starting a character? Why would you start a character with amnesia? Well, you can zero up, and uh, zero up is a concept that I have been in love with for a long time, and it's really brilliant and really special. And I think it's just it's definitely an awesome way to do uh, character generation, right? So, what is zero up? It's say you say, hey, everybody, um, I'm going to run a, a fantasy sci-fi game. Uh, show up on Saturday. And they're like, well, what do I build? You build nothing. You come to the table, and we're going to build our characters as we play. And that's what... And in and Heart Suit shows you how to do this, right? And so basically, it's saying, uh, you know, and the characters are there like, well, who am I and what am I? And you're saying, hey, well, first of all, you are a mecha pilot. That's the only thing I'm imposing on you. As far as your race, and, you know... Uh, and then, actually, you can even, you know, to keep it very standard, you can be like, you're also human, right? And at that point, right, everything else is up to the players, and they're like, my mech is a heavy, like, you know, is a heavy armored mech. My, ne my mech is a super light, fast mech. And I, as a person, am a, uh, a jovial female. And then another player can be like, I am a, you know, hard-bitten you know, old veteran, right, you know, like, and it just builds from, from scratch, right, and the reality is, this is, it sounds challenging, how do you do this, right, like, and the reality is, it's very simple, you simply read Hard Suit, and Hard Suit explains how to do it in Index Card RPG, but Index Card RPG is D&D &D thrown into a pot, and all the complexity boiled off, right, so if you can, so basically, anything within Index Card RPG can be very easily clicked into spot, on D and D, and so the the that the really powerful, awesome, helpful aspects of this is, uh, you know, like where how do you, you know where do you land with it? What do you do with it, right? And the reality is, it's it's an opportunity to skip the somebody getting forced to run cleric, to skip uh, the same person running the same type of, of character they've run every time before. It's it's it is. It is a hard rejection of session zero, right? And it's saying session one matters. Let's not let's not waste two hours of game time before we even get to the game, 
right? Like, it's just, and it's beautiful, and it's awesome, and I love this zero-up concept of come to the game, we build characters in the game world, right? And we discover the character rather than build it. And we don't say a thing, we, we do not fill in any blank before it's been shown by the narrative. Brilliant, beautiful, elegant. Hank Fowl in LA is an absolute genius. You gotta check out his work. All that's my opinion. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing. Have a wonderful millennium.